Kentucky, like so many other people, I put on glasses like this to look up at the sun for myself. And here in San Francisco, you could actually see part of the moon eclipse the lower part of the sun, but there really wasn't a noticeable change in lightness to darkness. In other parts of the country, though, Mother Nature really put on a show, including in my hometown in Maine. Monday's solar eclipse came with a lot of anticipation. Millions of people in the United States excited for this rare moment of darkness. The best viewing was in the path of totality, starting in Texas and running 2,200 miles to my hometown of Hodgton, Maine. Hi, Mom. Hi. Where like so many others, my family turned the eclipse into a family viewing party, seeing the skyline change from day to night and back to day in a matter of minutes. For my three-year-old nephew, Will. Was that cool? Yes. Yes. To my 91-year-old Grammy J. It's like a big ball with a light around it. Ten miles from there in Holton, Maine, the population more than doubled overnight, with tourists traveling for the best view of the dark sky. A cloudy forecast for other parts of the country rerouted eclipse watchers to northern Maine. The airport was really wildly busy. We had, uh, we had ten, 10 jets that flew in. People that had been planning on going to Texas and, and, and redid their flight plans and came up here instead. Executive Director for the Greater Holton Chamber of Commerce, Jane Torres, spent more than two years planning for the solar eclipse, a full weekend of events for locals and visitors leading up to the moon's big move and a big boost to the local economy. All the hotels are full, all the Airbnbs were full, and the restaurants were packed to capacity. The solar eclipse may have only lasted a few minutes, but small towns like where I grew up are hoping the once-in-a-lifetime celestial event will leave a long-lasting impression on eclipse enthusiasts. So thankful to be here that I, I, think, we, I think we accomplished our mission to get people to come back to see us again. Total, total solar eclipses like today are very rare, of course, and the next one in the U.S. won't happen again for another 20 years. That's going to be on August 23rd of 2044. The states where you'll be able to see it, Montana, South Dakota, and North Dakota. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News. Can we get Grammy J to come on out here and, and hang out with us? She was adorable. <laughs> totally. Yeah, I think like... she'd love that. As long as we can find bingo here for her, she'll do it. There you go. We'll we love those big old glasses, too. That worked yeah. like a charm. Okay, thank you so much, Rob. Yeah.